Ever wondered how the ethereal and the earthly could dance a duet? Welcome to the ballet world's take on this eternal quandary with La Sylphide as our guide. Picture James, our hero, torn between his love for a mystical sylph, the embodiment of the ethereal, and his betrothed Effie, the epitome of the earthly. It's like choosing between a dream vacation and paying off your mortgage, isn't it? So, in this dance of life, will you choose the ethereal or the earthly? Now, let's pirouette into the world of La Sylphide. Picture this, our hero James is entranced by a mystical sylph, an ethereal creature of the air, and finds himself in a love triangle of epic proportions. On the one hand, he's smitten with the sylph's otherworldly charm. On the other, he's betrothed to the lovely Effie, a symbol of earthly love and contentment. The ballet whisks us through a whirlwind of emotions as James grapples with his feelings. He's torn, folks, and who wouldn't be? A beautiful sylph that represents unattainable dreams and a devoted fiancé embodying the comforts of home. It's a classic grass-is-always-greener scenario played out in elegant pirouettes and grand jetés. But alas, not all love stories have a happy ending. The tale of James, the sylph, and Effie is a romantic yet tragic reminder of the consequences of chasing illusions. And so, James danced the dance of life torn between his love for the ethereal and the earthly, a dance we all must perform at some point. In the final act, what does La Sylphide teach us about the dance of life? It shows us a struggle between the ethereal and earthly, mirroring our daily dilemmas. Just like James, we often find ourselves torn between the dreamy possibilities and our grounded realities. The ballet beautifully paints the importance of balance in life, a harmony between our dreams and duties. And with that, we take our final bow. Remember, in life's ballet, it's not about choosing between the ethereal and the earthly, but finding the balance between the two.